Okay, let's start it. I hope. Hmm. So, it, this is handout handout about Windows of Code 2015. We just started the campaign to awareness about Windows of Code 2015 in in actually military area. So we can spread the word about Windows of Code to max to max people. So the students of colleges or uh, apply for this program and enhance their skills. Uh, we expecting some people to get in on Hangouts. Actually, I'm waiting for Carol Smith, who is a program manager of Google Server of Code, uh, program here Google, IHC, of course. And I'm waiting for also some old Google Server of Code students who had successfully projected Google Server of Code program in 2014. So uh, basically, uh, yeah, we have. Uh, I have set up this uh, hangout session. Uh, <clears throat> you can use uh, YouTube, and if you want to ask something question, then just click click on a link on your YouTube screens, and you can submit your questions. I can I can reply your ask uh, reply your questions uh, respectively. Okay. So yeah, we can reply your questions uh, accordingly. So let me start about Google Summer of Code. What is the Google Summer of Code is actually? While we're waiting for uh, Carol, so when Carol is not here, so I think I should start about uh, Google Summer of Code. Yeah. Let me share. Okay, so if you have a question from Sadan Kankani, what are the skills? One should process to be a part of Summer of Code. Is it that? Well, uh, let me finish my first presentation about Google Summer of Code. And uh, till then, I will answer your own questions. Thanks for your question. And all others, you can uh, put your questions. You can submit actually questions. And I will answer after the because, uh, Google Summer of Code slides. So let me share my screen with your Summer of Code slides. Okay, the Google Summer of Code program is started in 2015. I hope everyone can see this screen apparently. Yep. Google Summer of Code program is started in 2005 uh, in globally. So it's actually idea of Larry Page. And uh, he actually suggested to give back to open source communities. The thing is, what is open source communities? We know about open source communities. We use lots of software from open source, open source community itself. So the thing is, uh, how to pay pay them? How to pay back? So what uh, Larry Page decided? He decided to open a open source program office in Google headquarters itself, and uh, the program 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 office is working for working behind of. It's kind of open source program like Google Summer of Code in summer vacation in, and after that Google Coding that is for college level up to students. So I was a old as but I was a, I applied for mentorship in Google, Google Summer of Code 2011. Apparently I failed that. But I got that opportunity in 2012, 13, 14. Now, Google Summer of 2015 program. So, I'm spreading the word about Google Summer of 2015 to you guys. And I need that uh, people of India, I mean, students of India, developers of India, we should uh, increase our uh, ratio involved to have an open source project with Google Summer of 2012 project. So, this is a, what we are going to with today's agenda. That is what is the Google Summer of Code, what is the goals of program, how actually Google Summer of Code works. One of you asked about that. I think the name is uh, okay. Sahil want to ask that's sorry to interrupt, but 
uh, the quality is very poor. Can you do something about that? I think I'm on HD. You should have a high quality of audio and voice. Is it not? Okay, so Sahil, I think you should check your uh, internet connectivity. So, how does Google Summer of Code work actually work? And what is the timeline of Google Summer of Code? And yeah, the best thing about it is this program is totally a fault on open source, but Google will pay you for your projects, for your work, for your actual, we, we call it stipends. How to participate in particular listed projects? How to, how should I participate? Uh, what is the co course structure or what is the, what kind of code I have to, how, how to manage the projects, where to manage the projects, uh, how to talk with, uh, how to relate with mentors, these kind of things uh, we cover in these the, today's slides. First of all, what is I told, uh, told you that Google Summer of Code is a program for three to four months in just for a summer, actually summer uh, months in US. So we can calculate like in India, Google Summer of Code is running about April to October month, and yeah, it's probably summer or winter kind of things. What are the goal of programs? As I told you, inspire young developers to being participate in open source development. Like uh, in Python India 2015, 2014, a 12-year Python developer uh, present the slides of Python. Pike on Pike on Pike. That means how to inspire the youth to participate in open source project. Like I mean, in a uh, twelfth year student who actually uh, so who's supposed to be play with uh, his notebooks or pen to learning his key, learning English and all kind of thing. According to my class area, class class era, but he he is contributing in open source community. Back is contributing in Python games library where he actually learned from that. Like we copied lots of things from uh, Wikipedia uh, kind of thing. So it is our duty, I mean, it is our duty if we, if we can copy. So we, we should uh, contribute something. So we have to go, I mean, we should go uh, to Wikipedia and create pages, all this stuff kind of thing. So we should inspire the young developers to being participate in open source community, communities. Uh, it is really give the uh, real world exposure to particular uh, student who actually participate in this uh, program. Like if I'm working with text for kids projects, if I'm working with Mozilla Foundation, if I'm working with Chromium project, if I work for Melan's team, also if I if I even went to in a uh, in a multinational company and ask that give me a project, no one will give you a project. Or if they if they will if they give you project they will not pay to you because you are not a are not a professional. But from so this project, do some of code. They will give you a real exposure of project. They will they assign you a mentor to work work with it, and uh, they are also paying you for that. I mean they give you a type one. We will talk about later uh, about type one. So, uh, how does actually Google Summer of Code work? Uh, just do Summer of Code and work for projects in midterms or kind of thing. It is a, it is a full full frame timeline. Like it's Google Summer of Code divided in three parts. First phase is you have to uh, choose the project and write a proposal for that. And your proposal will send to a mentoring organization. Mentoring organization means uh, we just we just um, listed the lots of uh, organization who actually participate in Google Summer of Code, particularly like in Google 2014. You can have a list out of Google Summer of Code mentoring organization. Like uh, I can give you an example like Mozilla, Chromium, Melans, Text for Kids, and lots of they have particular mentors. Mentors means they, they take care, take care of project, guide of project. They will actually guide you like how to work for this project or what, what is your task to do in this project. 
so this is how google summer of code actually works they assign they assign you task you have to complete that task as well as you have to maintain your code online code with github with big bucket whatever repository get uh, your mentor the mentor ask for you uh, you can even even you can ask to mentors to uh, to maintain the old repositories like if you are working on chromium chromium, chromium project uh, like google chrome uh, beta version so you can ask the uh, repository i mean you can ask the old code to uh, refer your project from your mentor and the thing is how, uh, how to make a relation with mentors or mentoring organization or mentor admin you have to uh, you have to be in touch with your mentor you have to be touch it in touch within your uh, summer of code counselor like carol smith is program manager for google summer of code if you have any questions you can ask uh, carol direct to carol in google summer of code 2015 working time and if you are selected then you are allowed to send the mail to carol to ask anything about your project if you have any questions regarding your project second thing uh, after uh, let me show you my another screen let me show you my another let me show you my another screen is that is uh, you might see the you might see my screens it is a program screens it is a program timeline like where the program actually runs where the student application yeah the student application period open on by 16 march 2015 you can apply for 16 march 2015 as well okay we have done some question here hmm. so you can apply like uh, if you if you are applying as a student you can apply by 16 march 2015 for particular project but uh, before that uh, mentor should apply six uh, mentor should apply by uh, 9 feb 2015 where google google officials where google officials all finalize the uh, particular mentoring organization actually like what they posted i mean what uh, what kind of project they assigning to students to college students to professional developers what kind of uh, what we can say what kind of projects uh, how it is uh, linked with open source communities i mean how it is related to open source communities it is all job by uh, it is all job done by carol itself so you don't have a problem about, about this you should uh, you should check out the mentoring organization this by 6th march so you can uh, know about it how uh, with, with whom you have to work for google summer of code 2014 program i mean if you want to if you are interested in uh, mozilla project you should connect with mozilla mentors so you can uh, you can share your experience with your mozilla uh, with mozilla projects or any projects like if they have developed something in previous summer of code program or if you are or in using use that program you can share actually uh, your user relative reviews like what what is the less less things less smoothness in that product and you want to announce that features in particular product in uh, in upcoming uh, use of our program program so through that so through this mentors and uh, and you between you and mentors the relation bond is going to be a strong like uh, it's kind of things uh, two friends are talking with on particular product and they share knowledge each another so product will going to be a definitely a strong product so as i told you you can uh, check out the google summer of code timeline via google-milans.com or uh, you can note it down if you want to uh, note uh, timeline but i don't think so because you can any time you can go uh, to google-milans.com and create your account uh, uh, submit your details and you can check out the, all the all the fix all the frequently asked questions over there event date time and questions are uh, over there you can even check 16 to 16 uh, to 27 march is for specific uh, student application period that means if you want to apply for any project if you want if you have any if you have any idea for a particular project you can just directly go to 16 march and just apply under that project and go with uh, go with your proposals 
that uh, proposals and write your proposals and post to mentors. They will they will inspect your they will read your proposals. They will mark your proposals and at at the twenty uh, seventh April when when students selections is going to be uh, declared, you will come to know that how much marks you gain on particular project like. If it, if there is a one project, uh, maybe there is a hundred proposal on that. So best be best for your proposals. You just know, just think about uh, you just remember the date, 16 to 27 March, or you just uh, can uh, visit Google uh, Google Milan's web Google hyphen dot Google hyphen Milan's dot com website regularly, or you can go on two months to check out the accepted organization. Yeah, the thing. The great thing is right now, like uh, stipends. <laughs> yeah. At the Google, once you uh, selected for Google Summer of 2020 program, uh, how much Google will pay you? That is the biggest question. That is the biggest attraction about Google Summer of Code, and the student the students follow that Google Summer of Code uh, normally. So Google pay six thousand US dollar to each student for a particular project, and yes. Each student, uh, every, each and every student can can a part in all your single project for a single Google Summer of Code year. You can't take a part uh, in two projects at the, at the same time in the same kind of same year Google Summer of Code project. So what in what Google will pay you are two thousand two uh, sorry not two thousand six thousand US hundred dollars US dollars. It means if you calculate uh, in Indian rupees, it's, it's about sixty rupees one dollar, I think. So you can just calculate according. It's around. It's probably like sixty to seventy thousand rupees. Okay, in that uh, five hundred dollar, you have to pay to mentor. That will directly pay by Google. Don't worry about it. And five hundred and five thousand and five hundred rupees, you will you will going to be have in that. Uh, you will get. You will give. Uh, you will sorry. Uh, Google will give you a five hundred dollar initially when you get shortlisted for your uh, Google Summer of Code two thousand four fifteen particular year. If you selected in 2013, 2015, 15 uh, program, you should ready with your tax number, with your tax paper, uh, tax papers also, as well as you should have a, a internet banking account. So whenever uh, payment will debit it into your account, into your account, so you have no problem with that. If you are students and if you have any problem with uh, tax paper, uh, tax paper, so you can uh, ask your father to provide your uh, their tax papers on behalf of yours. But you should have a your pen account number. Okay. So uh, later on, first half, uh, whenever you got selected in Google Summer of Code, you will receive five hundred USD dollar for your basic needs. Like if you don't have a computer machine, or if you have, don't have a good, or if you don't, if you're losing some resources to do such project, so Google will give you a five hundred USD dollars, and uh, and after that you have to you should start the coding projects with your mentors. They want whatever they assign to you. So you just have to uh, have to follow the task, follow the task of mentors. Whatever he he or she provided provided you, you just have to uh, complete that task. If you have any doubt, you can uh, ping your mentors anytime. So don't worry about it. If your mentor is not responding properly, he should be uh, he or she should properly she not responding properly. You can ask uh, organization admin or. You can go with Carol. He will, uh, she will definitely uh, reward you. So be, uh, once you completed your work, whatever work, there is a bit to bit talk kind of thing. When we are in college, we have a bit so bit bit where you have to submit your or whatever sub, you have finished with your project. You have to submit uh, to mentor as well as Google. The mentor will evaluate your work. As well as you also evaluate your mentor, and they will give you a, a marking. Like they will give you a star, like four, four out of five stars. If you if you successfully pass that midterm value, then Google will directly transfer the two thousand and two hundred fifty US dollar into your account. This is for what? 
you just complete you just successfully completed first of google summer of code okay and the same things if you if you successfully pass the second thing second thing of google summer of code that will also uh, credit the rest of, rest of amount in your account but but don't think like you just receive the amount and you don't uh, don't work or you just just leave the summer of code program it's it's give you a it's give a bad impression of yours seriously it's give you a give a bad impression of yours and those who are those who apply for mentor uh, being a mentor or being the mentoring organization or an organization they will get their payment by november yeah the thing is what kind of projects available or what kind of projects listed over Google Summer of Code to some of the program like there can be a hardware management kind of program like your mentor can be asked ask you for uh, to making a quadcopter uh, I mean they can they can ask you for a uh, embedded system projects they can ask you for operating system like uh, Chromebooks Chromium projects may, may, may be over there so you have to work for Chromium projects Chrome browsers mobile phone like Android box, uh, maybe over there but this depends totally depend on uh, what mentoring organization listed over there what mentoring organization accepted this year for Google Summer of Code 2015. Okay, but this will this list will be uh, this list will be released on second March two thousand fifteen on Google Hyphen You can check out. You can uh, work for programming language. I mean, you can work for C C plus plus language. You can create uh, your own algorithms over there. But it's totally depend on your mentoring organization. I mean, what mentoring organization wants from you? Google will just. Google will just help to open source community. Open source community in turn the terms like micro, uh, like uh, micro, uh, Firefox, Firefox Mozilla. Yeah. So Mozilla is an open source community, but Google is helping to uh, grow, grow back to open source community. So he just helping to sign up uh, enthusiast, youngest developer to uh, open source community like a uh, Mozilla. And they give they give a developer like they, and they say they said to uh, they say to uh, open source community like hey we assign you this guy just use it use it in the terms of just make a full use of this guy make a uh, make a healthy relations make a, a product that is that is completely renovate the world the kind of things like text for kids uh, there's a uh, organization they are made a software for educational purpose if someone a student work for text for kids that, that is uh, whatever they develop uh, protect that is completely reformed the educational uh, era because kids use project if uh, he or she will learn something extraordinary from project and in, in easy easy way manner yeah the question uh, Honestly, six thousand US dollar is the biggest vision. Anyone can, anyone can go with. Uh, I mean, like in three to four months, we have to just sit at home on uh, in front of computer with internet, with with being in touch with some people, and have to work for some lines of some thousand lines of course, and six thousand USD dollars. Seriously, this is amazing. You can go on like. Why should I participate? Uh, if you still, why should I get it? Will uh, like if you are going to uh, for internship, they will not give you a, give you a live project or any kind of thing or to work or to. But in Google Summer of Code, you get it. You set your goal like in future you have to work with this organization. I mean, you can you came to know the, came to know that how this organization actual working. In real world, how the actual going to be built, or what is the procedure to be uh, maintained, or kind of uh, maintain or make a product in real world? Yeah, you can look down this if you want, or you could have a, this link google-melas.com. So, all details over there, let me show you google-melas.com. Uh, 
this is this is google summer of code 2015 uh, milange google-milange.com website over there you can check the all links like home about event timelines connect with us just go at the event and timelines you just go and sorry event and timeline you can just add this calendar into uh, within your gmail calendar if you're using this email uh, this email id is just add in your uh, google calendar and you will find you will find the all details over there as well as you can find the all the things here like uh, like what uh, are going to be accepted student application apps accepted student list are going to declare all kind of things uh, all needful information listed over there so we have seen how it actually work how is actually work i i hope you when you are that you guys going to be part in the summer of course uh, actually i am uh, today's workshop uh, today's today's hangout so should be with carol smith program manager she must be busy she is not online we will try we will try to uh, in, in next hangout but don't worry we have a lots of uh, hangouts for how to write a, uh, a great proposal for accepting in google summer of 2015 or we can say how to how to choose the project, perfect project how to choose the perfect uh, mentor organization how to all things this is what about today's uh, today's hangout so this is the today, today's presentation now i have to now i have to take the questions uh, you guys submitted here i have a lots of question here so yeah Mm, that's great the first question is sahil sekhawat it is like uh okay it's about quality of google uh, hangouts uh, on air i think sahil it's uh, it should be uh, something internet connectivity problem uh, with both way uh, maybe i mean you have a connectivity problem or maybe i have a uh, low quality kind of uh, video <laughs> broadcasting over there so i think i should pick the next question so next question is for siddharth kulkarni the question is what are the basic requirement skills one should possess to be part of summer of code yeah that is the uh, necessary question uh, siddharth thanks for the question uh, now i'm now i'm asking this question in like like if you are applying for summer of code 2015 program you have a college student a uh, pre final year or final year student or waiting for a i mean you just have to be a college student the another thing you no need to engineer uh, electronics engineers you just have have a patience to do something like you just know how to code or you just know how to do it i mean people are learning lots of coding through google itself I think this is the uh, sufficient sufficient answer about this. If you have a, if you want to uh, ask more about it, just put the question second question. I'm going to take the. for the student participate in summer of code as i told students be for uh, the student not for then go for mentor then go for apply apply to mentor or if you want then go for uh, uh, mentor kareem Kareem want to ask who decided the project topic. So 
dropping okay dropping from the initial sorry the answer uh, mentic oblation uh, this state by the particular time this have to uh, expose provided by mentee organization like if i am like so there i have to enter can can be indirectly can be directly in touch with so don't you need to just need to From now, Preet Singh. The question is: Can we get this presentation at the end of session? Why not? You, you can get this presentation. I'll show you a link you can download from over there. You can download in committee. You can download and this uh, this presentation and share. And share this or spread the word about Google Summer of Code about, uh, among your local ideas. All the communities, all the colleges, those kind of things. You can. And if you are, uh, you can actually, you can actually download this, uh, actually download this project. Kareem, I, as I told you, that the, the complete running march to october month so these are months you have to complete your project the project is not complete with your official now again again another question from subham agarwal that is an clear um, first year semester student. So can I yes or in the UK for it? Question is I'm Aditya Sharma, a first year student of SME ITS in Blue. I'm an Android developer. Is there anything for me in GSOC? Uh, Today, Android not for sensing or any other mobile also. Today's era is for moving devices. I mean, lots of mobile devices over there, the tablet, tablets, kind of things. So, whatever, whatever kind, kind of project 
is going to be developed, uh, will be, or maybe have a cross platform things over there. Like they have web, web version of that, they have a, uh, a mobile version of that. Or if you have Android developer, Thank you.